Plastic pollution is currently one of the biggest environmental concerns. It may seem like large amount of plastic waste is inevitable in the world we live in, but you can help with the plastic pollution issues by being aware of its dangers and taking steps to reduce waste. Plastic is everywhere. A lot of it ends up in the Mekong River and the Laysap Lake. Most plastic in the Mekong River and the Laysap Lake break up into very small particles. These small plastic bits are called microplastics. Microplastics are tiny plastic particles found in the environment. Any plastic particle that has a diameter of less than 5 mm is considered to be microplastic. And any plastic particle that has a diameter of bigger than 5 mm is considered to be macroplastic. For a long time, a majority of people were unaware of the presence of microplastics and their effects on the environment. They pass unchanged through waterways into Mekong River and Dunlaysap Lake. Aquatic life and birds can mistake microplastics for food. Research is being conducted, but there is still a lot that we don't know and microplastics are still a huge problem. It is very important for each of us to play our part and keep plastic out of the Mekong River and Tunlesap Lake. While plastic is durable, this also means plastic waste can be trapped in our environment for centuries if not managed well. The amount of garbage in the Mekong River and Tunlesap Lake increases as the population grows and disposable plastic products like water bottles, fishing nets or gosh nets, and other daily life material from plastic as well as foams accumulate over time. Plastic pollution occurs when enough plastic has gathered in an area that it affects the natural environment and harms plants, animals, or humans. Therefore, there are four easy steps we can remember and do to help out. Please remember the four R's. 1. Refuse 2. Reduce 3. Reuse and 4. Recycle Thank mm -hmm. you.